Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to go over the set variables block in the context of a Facebook Messenger project. In this case, with this content block, this is considered a content block that can actually be used over every different type of project type, whether you have a Facebook Messenger bot or a Google Assistant bot or anything that you're trying to build. But in this case, we're just going to use it in our airline bot demo example here. We're going to go ahead and start by adding it. So we're going to scroll over and we're going to add it to this section here where we had more options. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click set variables right here. And now we have the set variables block ready to go. Essentially, what the set variable block does is it allows you to modify the data of a variable at any certain point in the conversation or add to it or, or something like that. And in this case, we have a simple way of doing that through this variable um, rather than having to, you know, sometimes you don't want the user to input the change to a variable. You may just want a simple way to do it automatically in the background. And in this case, it'll do it after a certain content block or you can do it after the user says something else. So just like that, we can go ahead and we can add our set variable sort of uh, setting here. And in this case, I want to set the variable visit count. And we have a few options here. We can, we can change the value. We can increment by, decrement by, multiply by, and divide by. And I'm going to go and increment this by one. And basically what I'm saying is at this point in the conversation, this is the end of a certain portion of the conversation, increment our visit count by one. Um, and then, you know, maybe that can, that can change some of the data or that can, uh, you know, have something interesting, you know, in some interesting connotations for using jump blocks or other projects here. So, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and do that. And now you have your set visit count incremented by one. And like I said, this variable will be automatically set in the background of the conversation at this certain point. So it won't actually show up really in the interface at any point to the user that it changed. It'll just be something that automatically happens and the data will change in the current session that the user is running through. Thank you so much for watching.